Hello everyone, this is Benji here. There are two types of games that are simple to make for new developers. One is Obby Parkour, which you should be able to make one by yourself now after watching my previous videos. The other type is a simple tycoon that peers collect money from a machine and continue upgrading their base kind of stuff. In the next couple of weeks, I will show you how to make some of the key elements in tycoon games. And today, we are going to start with the main elements of all tycoon games, the money collector. First of all, we are going to create the collector model. There are three key parts we need to create. A claim button for the players to claim this collector when they first join the game, and a collect button to collect the money stored in the machine, and a display park to show how much money is stored. You probably noticed I am renaming parks and such on the way. I would highly recommend you group and name your parks properly when you make your games. This habit will really save you a lot of time and hustle during your development process. You can make whatever you feel like with this model, as long as the three key parts are in there. For example, I've just made a masterpiece. This is for sure will get the Design of the Year award. <laughs> <laughs> then we are going to put two values in the model. One called Owner ID, which holds the user ID of the owner of the machine. And the other one called Money Stored, which holds the amount of money stored in the machine. After that, we are going to put a script called money collector in the model. This script will control all of the functions related to this machine. First of all, we need to declare all the variables we're going to use in this script. The three key parts we're going to use are the claim button, the collect button, and the display. You can see that there is a money per text value here. Now it's a fixed value, so that the money collector will generate a fixed rate of money over time. However, if you are making a tycoon game, you probably will need to change it to an equation that will generate more money if the player has more upgrades. For example, somewhat like this. This could get to very complicated if you get a lot of different upgrades in the game, and each of them give different bonus. For our example, we're just going to keep it at 50. There is also a variable of tick weight, which is how many seconds in between each money tick. Let's say we want it to be every 2 seconds. After that, we're going to script the details of the generate money script, which is very simple. First of all, we start with 0, and then as long as the owner ID is equal to the payer user ID, we're going to add the amount of money per tick to the money store value, then we're going to wait for 2 seconds and loop again. This loop will stop whenever there is a change of the owner, and will start from 0 again when the new owner claims the machine. Then we can move on to script the claim button, which should let the player claim this machine if it's not claimed. If you are making a tycoon game, there will be more script need to be done with this claim button, like setting up colors groups and such. Also, if the owner leaves the game, you would want to release this machine for other players to claim, which can be done by adding a line in the player removing event to set the owner ID to zero. But for today, we are going to keep it super simple. This claim button has only one purpose, which is to claim the ownership of the money collector. Once the money collector is claimed by a payer, it will kickstart our generate money script, which will generate money based on our money per tick value about for the time period of this payer owned the machine. We are using a coroutine here to put the generate money function on a separate thread so that it can continue to run all by itself and will not impact other functions and events we have. And the last thing we need to add is whenever there is a change of the money store value, we are going to update the display text on the machine. After that, we need to script the collect button. What this button do is, if the owner touched the button, the money stored in the machine will transfer to the owner, and the amount in the machine will be set to zero. We already have a gold value created for our payers from our previous videos, so that we are going to reuse that. 
If you want to see how to create a variable to store data, please click on the link on top of the screen and I will also put the link in the description below. You'll probably notice that I have a debounce for both object claims and collect functions. Debounce is needed here so that we are not spamming updates to our values. It's always a good practice to have a debounce check when your function or events have a chance of spamming requests to the server. Then we are done and let's test it out. First of all, the money collector should have no response if I haven't claimed it yet. Then I can go claim it by touching the claim button. And you can see that once the money collector is claimed, the button will not let anyone else claim it again. Once I claim the money collector, it starts generating money. And I can collect those money by touching the collect button. So all of them are working. And one last thing I would need to test is what if a non-owner tried to collect the money, and will the machine give the money to the wrong pair? To test it, I simply go to the server side and change the owner ID of the machine to someone else, then flip it back to clients. Now since the owner has changed, the money collector stopped and I cannot collect any of the money, because my user ID is not matching with the owner ID. And this is what we're going to cover today. I'll put all the scripts in the description below and I'll see you guys next time.